Good morning. We are Bob and Sue Van Buskirt. We welcome you to our church today. We are glad to have you join us in worshiping God. Dear guests with us, we are glad to have you here, and our prayers are that you feel very welcome as you worship God with us. The ushers are coming down the aisle now. They have a pen and a visitor's card. Could you please fill the visitor's card out and put it in the offering, the pen you may keep. After the church service today, a pastor would like for you to help clear the chairs from the center of the auditorium for Awanas tonight. And tonight is super cookie night. Today we are recruiting workers for the Easter walkthrough. We need about 45 adults. So would you please consider being involved? It is one way that we can uh, share the gospel of Jesus Christ to all our friends and our neighbors. So please sign up out in the lobby. There is a sign up sheet. Thank the folks at the Slate Belt Nazareth Baptist Church again this year for being involved in the Bible Project, assembling 25,000 John and Romans that are going to the people of Peru. I want you to remember that each of these scriptures represents a person. It represents a, a boy or a girl, a man or a woman, a grandma or a grandpa that maybe never before has heard the name of Jesus Christ. Maybe for the first time, they'll open up the scriptures, they'll read the Word of God, and they'll learn about Jesus Christ that died for the forgiveness of their sins. You know, often we think of the individual that will personally open up these scriptures, but think of, think of generations to come, the impact that this could have on a, on a family or on, a, or on a, a group of people or on a city or on a community, uh, maybe in a church where they've never had copies of the scriptures before. Just imagine, think beyond just the person that's going to open each and every one of these, but the peoples whose lives that that person will be able to impact. What we've done over the last couple days is going to have a great impact for the cause of eternity. Slate Belt, Nazareth Baptist Church, for all your hard work this week. Uh, the Bible says in Psalm 68:11, the Lord gave the word, great was the company of those that published it. And there's truly been a great company here this week publishing the Word of God. Not just for us here in the States, but for people all over the world. Uh, we put together 25,000 Spanish John and Romans for Peru. 
and those are going to have an impact in a place in a country where frankly many of us have never had an opportunity to go but yet the work that's taking place here in this building during this time is going to have an eternal impact in that country uh, the bible also says in romans 10:17, faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of god it's so important that we get the printed word of god to those who have never had an opportunity to have it I've had it since I was a little boy, and many of you probably have as well. You've had your own copy of God's Word, and what a blessing it is to be able to send a copy to one who perhaps has never even seen, let alone owned, a copy or a portion of the Word of God. So they can come to know Christ one day, they can come to have a relationship with God through that printed Word that you've so faithfully assembled this week. Thank you for your involvement and for your burden for publishing the Word of God for the world. Thy Word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Thy Word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. When I feel afraid Think I've lost my way Still you're there right beside me Nothing will I fear As long as you are near Please be near me to the end We want to thank all the workers that came out to help make the Bibles this week. We made 25,000 Bibles. They are going to go to Peru. So please pray that they will get in the hands of people who need to know Jesus Christ as their Savior. The deacons are planning a special offering on Sunday, April the 21st, to help close the gap with our giving. So please consider what God would have you to do to help support his ministry here. The Sam's Group is having a potluck dinner on March the 17th, right after church. So if you could, please consider coming out because Bonnie Collins is gonna show her um, slides of her trip to Africa. And so we would love to have you all come, bring a covered dish and share a great time of fellowship. Thank you, and also don't forget next Sunday to turn your clock back one hour. I heard. I said it wrong. <laughs> don't forget to set your clock ahead one hour next Sunday. Thank you.